What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Rod. You kicking in, Rod. And we back on another exclusive. And y'all go hit that subscribe button, man. Y'all hit that subscribe button, like, and repost if you haven't done so yet. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok at kicking it with Rod underscore. Now, today, I'm going to be showing y'all one of my favorite pair of sevens that just touched down. Now, it could change later in time. And I'm in love with these. I, I'm falling in love with these. As I speak, as I think about them, I, I just feel so bad because I'm not going to be able to wear them as much as I want. But with that being said, sneakerheads out there, y'all see what's going on. Y'all see the dust bag. The dust bag speaks for itself. Ben 23. Big Ben 23. You know what I'm saying? And for some of y'all out there, I have the Air Jordan Retro 7s Premium or Premio. Whichever one, you know, whichever one y'all choose. I'm going to just be saying premium throughout the video. Hold on, let me show y'all this one sneaker right here. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the Ben 7s. Now, Ben 23, or should I say Ben 23 Jordan Collection, uh, is a handful of Jordans that are uh, a handful of premium quality Jordans. Because these are premium quality Jordans that came out in 2010. Now, if I'm a, if I'm not mistaken, they didn't come out all at once. You know, they didn't come out all at once. They came out in the little, you know, spurts of months apart. But most of them came out in 2010. Only one of them didn't. So they came out in the exact same. And if I'm not mistaken, you know, quote me if I'm wrong. Y'all can comment at the bottom. Came out the order of the twos, the nines, thirteens, sevens, and the last but not least was the fives, which came out in early 2011. So all of them didn't fit in 2010. But, you see, I'm out here, and I finally got these in my hand. And in 2010, I wasn't a, a big fan of, um, let's say, I, I can't say I wasn't a big fan of Jordans. I was a big fan of Jordans, but I was more into basketball, playing ball. So everything that I got my hands on was destroyed immediately. You know, in that time, I was just bowling, bowling as much as I can. So I wasn't really focused on collecting sneakers. Had I been collecting in 2010, I would have been on top of my game. You know, with that being said, I don't even have, I don't even have the OG box, man. I'm sorry, y'all out there. I know y'all looking at me like, dang, how you buy OG? Like, with a collection like this, you need that OG box, man. I'm really upset about not having the box, but I'm really not because I caught it for a great price, you know? Now, with the box, these go for about 2000 or 2100 you know, and... I caught them for way, way cheaper. You know, I basically just paid for the sneaker and not the box. Paid for the sneaker and the dust bag and, of course, you know, everything else. Now, the Ben 23 collection came with the original OG box, which I don't have. But I promise y'all, I promise y'all, y'all stay with me. I'm going to find me. You know, I still got a lot more collecting to do. I'm going to get a couple more sneakers out there. I think I got, like, three more, as you can see. I got three more to get, and I promise you, I'm going to show y'all that OG box. But it's right now. It came with the OG box, of course. It came with uh, the dust bag, of course. Each sneaker has its own dust bag. And then it also came with that that uh, shoe tree, a wooden shoe tree, you know, which is kind of tough, which I'm going to show you all up close. So it come with that wooden shoe tree right there, Jordan right there on the hill. So the sneaker, I got everything that the sneaker has, but the box. Really not too upset about it, you know, because like I said, I caught it for a great price. And these are sick. Like, just look at the colorway, y'all. Yeah, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give y'all a closer look, up close and personal, but just look at these, man. Look at these, beautiful. Like, come on. It's DS, DS, you feel me? DS, never worn. That's why I'm super hyped right now, like what? Would you know that find a sneaker that came out in 2010 that's DS? DS never worn. You feel what I'm saying? Never worn. Like, look at that. Now, every Ben 23 has that, you know, that Ben 23 stamp in the back. Now, back then, I used to just see the nines, you know, the Ben 23 nines. But when I was looking at the nines, I only seen the dot on the one side, you know? And... I didn't pay no mind to it. I thought it was just regular nines. I thought it was just like a little colorway with a red dot. So I kept walking past it. And I was, you know, back then I was a young kid. So I didn't, I mean, I was younger. So I didn't really care about collecting sneakers. I just thought it was whatever was whatever. But now I can't even find those Ben nines. I'm shocked that I even found these. You know what I'm saying? I found these sevens on the shelf DS somewhere. I'm shocked. 
You know, so for me, I'm definitely got to go get those nines. Because those nines out of the collection, out of the whole collection, I feel like the nines is the best. But every sneaker has its, you know, own its own little mojo going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got that zebra. Just look at the sneaker. You got that black and white going around. Look at that. Beautiful. And if I, I'm going to show you how close I look. But you still, I still have the sparkles. Like, you still got the sparkles. You feel me? Like, come on. Look at that leather. This that premium leather right here. There it says 12, 16 out of 20, 59. That's what it says on the inside. You know, that's how many it came out. That's the number I have mine. So, all of these sneakers are numbered. You feel me? I don't know if you can see up and close. So, all of the sneakers are numbered. And this is a tough sneaker. Like, beautiful. And the only thing is, I'm scared to wear these. You know, I'm scared to wear these, which I'm going to show you up close and personal. But sneakers like this that came out in 2010, they already cracked. So, like, they start cracking after a while. Like, right here, you got your little cracking in the edges. I got the cracking right here. Like, if I wear it and I bend it, it's going to crack. I know I'm, like, you know, certain places, you know, it's going to crack. So, I do have to wear my own wrist. And I don't plan on wearing these on an everyday, but I'm definitely going to get one wear out of it. I just don't know what day, but it might be that special day. Might be on the day I get married. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I need these to be on my feet. And I'm gonna get a good wear out of them. I'm not I'm gonna have to walk like a penguin, but whatever the case may be. Let me get this other one out. But yeah, you know? And like I said, I'm sorry about not having the box. You know, I tried. I couldn't get the box, but hey, you know, we 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 win some, we lose some. Y'all let me know what y'all feel in the comment below. If y'all feel Y'all would have bought these without the OG box and it came with everything, shoe trees, dust bag, or would y'all just, you know, just left them in the store and just, you know, say, forget it because everything is not OG. And with that being said, I'm going to give y'all a closer look. So we have our outsole. And like I said, I'm sorry from before, I don't have the box, man. I don't have the box, but we're going to start with the outsole right here. So we got that green, that orange, that red, that black. Whew. Beautiful, solid. DS, like I said, y'all see it? DS. We have our midsole, yellow and green and red and black. Ooh. Like some beautiful colors, man. Some island colors, you know? Whoo. See that Ben stamp? You got your Ben 23 stamp in the back. And this sneaker right here, you have both. You have your stamp on both shoes. Got that leather. Look at that leather right there. Whew, that leather. Got that black and white. Look, zebra lines going on the back of your heel. Man, this sneaker is sick. And you see, like I said, I showed y'all earlier. Still has the glitter on it. Ooh, DS. Still has the glitter. DS, y'all. DS. Y'all tell me if y'all wasn't going to leave these in the store. Oh, man. You know, you got your white laces. Whew. You got your Jordan on the tongue. Oh, man. You got your tree. Like I said, you got your tree, your shoe tree, your dust bag, you know. Then you have your jump man on the sole. Then you got your, you got your numbering right here. 12, 16 out of 20, 59, size 12, you know, beautiful shoe. So we back, y'all. Hey, y'all comment below, man. Let me know how y'all feel. Let me know how y'all feel about the Ben 23 Sevens, you know. Are these, these was a must cut, these was a cop, are they top five? Y'all let me know how y'all feel because me personally, like I said, these were a must cop. Because I sold them at a low price, at a great price, by the way. You know, like I said before, I just paid for the sneaker. And the little, it said the dust bag and the shoe tree. But minus the box, which I'm a little slightly down about. I, I really could care less about that. It's just the sneaker is, to me, is beautiful. It's out this world. I had to go get it. Now, this whole video, y'all all looking like, you know, we focus on the sevens on the sevens. But I know y'all see what's going on over here. You know, everybody's like, what's over here in this dust bag? Just know. I have another video coming out, and these premium quality sneakers that I'm showing y'all is not going to stop, you know? Uh, you know, at first I was showing sneakers, you know, showing shoes, showing shoes, trying to get out there. But now, 
once I realized I showed those Maniers, the Armand Maniers, and the Jordan 3s, and then I showed the Travis Scott 6s, everything from now on is about to be about premium quality and, and detail, you know? Detail on the sneaker. What's worth it to be on that shoe? What's worth it for a certain price, you know? So most of my videos from now on is going to be straight quality, quality only. With that being said, I'm out.